Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have a nice exponential problem. So this is minus 13 to the power of m equals to 13 and we solve this problem for the values of m. So here the very first step we are going to do is now first uh, we solve this question by two methods. Uh, so here we discuss our first method. Okay, so uh, in first method uh, here we use the uh, common logarithm uh, to solve this problem. We use uh, two things. One is the common logarithm and other is the Euler's identity. And then we can easily prove uh, or easily find the value of m. So here first we break uh, this uh, base and we write it the exponent on negative term and positive term and we write it as minus 1 to the power of m into 13 to the power of m equals to 13 okay so uh, after that uh, here uh, we use the Euler's identity so by uh, Euler's identity here first uh, we state uh, the Euler identity and uh, you very well know about the Euler identity. It is stated as e to the power of iota pi plus 1 equals to 0. So this equation implies that e to the power of iota pi is equals to minus 1. So now we use uh, this value of minus 1 here and we substitute minus 1 equals to e to the power of iota pi in the above equation. So that our uh, above equation is written as in this form uh, e to the power of iota pi and its whole power m into 13 to the power of m equals to 13. So here we again combine and uh, the exponents and we write this expression as 13 times of e to the power of iota pi and its whole power m equals to 13. And now here we use the uh, common logarithm on both of the sides so that when we take common logarithm on both of the sides it is written as log of 13 into e to the power of iota pi and its whole power m is equals to log of 13. And now uh, next further uh, uh, we use the property of log and you know about this property of log if we have log of a to the power of m then uh, this uh, the exponent of m is written in the front of this log okay so we write it as m times of log a so here we use this nice property in the left hand side of the above equation so we move this m in the front of this log and it is written as m times of log 13 into e to the power of iota pi is equals to log of 13. So here we use the property of log and uh, we move uh, the exponent, uh, we uh, break uh, the terms inside the log. Okay, so here we have another property of log is if we have log of a times of b it is written as log of a plus log of b. So here we use this second property of log on these terms. Uh, so here uh, we just break these terms and uh, it is written as in this form. Uh, we have m times of log 13 plus uh, here we uh, write this log on this term and it is log of e to the power of iota pi is equals to log of 13. So now after that uh, here you focus on this term only and in this term we have m times of log 13 plus uh, here we move this exponent in the front of this log and it is written as iota pi times of log e equals to log of 13 so we know that the value of log e is equals to 1 uh, so we write it as m times of log 13 plus here we get only iota pi and this is equals to log of 13 so after that uh, we move uh, these terms to the right hand side so that finally we get the value of m is equals to 
log of 13 is divided by log of 13 plus iota pi so this is the value of m uh, which we get from method number one so now here we again solve this problem uh, by a second method uh, so uh, in second method here uh, we first copy down the given question statement it is minus 13 to the power of m equals to 13 so in uh, second method uh, here uh, we simply use uh, the definition of iota uh, so here uh, we write uh, the left hand side in this form minus 1 times of 13 and its whole power m equals to 13 so here we know that uh, the value of iota is equals to minus 1 square root and this is implies that if we take scaling on both of the sides it is written as iota square equals to minus 1. So here we replace this minus 1 by iota square and it is written as in this form iota square times of 13 and its whole power m equals to 13. And here further in second uh, case uh, we solve this problem by the help of natural logarithm okay so in first case uh, we uh, take the common logarithm but here we take the uh, natural logarithm uh, on both of the sides so when you take natural logarithm it is written as sorry this is natural log uh, it is 13 times of iota square and its whole power m equals to natural log of 13. So here we again use uh, the nice property of natural log and we move this m in the front of this log and it is written as uh, m times of log 13 into iota square equals to log of 13. So here we use the uh, and uh, again we use the property of log here and we just separate uh, the log on both of these terms and it is written as uh, log 13 plus log of iota square equals to log of 13 so here we use uh, again the property of log and we move this exponent in the front of uh, this log and it is written as m into log of 13 plus 2 times of uh, log iota is equals to log of 13 so here we move all these terms to the right hand side and, and it is written as m equals to log of 13 divided by log of 13 plus 2 times of log iota. So these are the final value of m which we get from second method and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.